This wire kit is 70 bucks, but this wire kit is 140 bucks. That's a huge difference. Why would you pay double for the second kit? Well, here's why. The more expensive kit is a bigger wire that carries more power. How do you know which one you need to get? Because you don't want to waste money on something you don't need. Well, you head over to DIYAudioGuy.com to the power wire calculator. Enter the type of wire. I recommend you use oxygen-free copper. You can get CCA wire, but I don't recommend it. Plug in the total power for your system to calculate the size of the wire going to your amplifier or if you have multiple amplifiers, your distribution block. So let's say you've got a 1500 watt system. That is more than a thousand watts. That's going to kick an error message and ask you to consider upgrading your battery and alternator just so you have plenty of juice. Enter the voltage. Cars don't run on 12 volts. They can peak at it 14.4 or 14.8. So enter a reasonable voltage number. I like to enter 13.8 to give myself a little wiggle room. Next is your amplifier efficiency. Amplifier is not 100% efficient. A good class D amplifier is going to be 75 or 80. The really good ones might be as high as 90. I think that 75 is a good number for a class D amp. Cheaper amps are less efficient. Now the next one is very important. This is the length of the run from your battery to your amplifiers. If you've got a short length, you can get away with smaller wire. If you've got a long run, you need a thicker wire. So let's go with a 15 foot run, which is reasonable for most cars. Then you'll pick a wire size to see if the wire you're interested in will work. We're gonna pick the four gauge wire to see if the cheaper kit will get the job done. And we hit calculate. Bad news, that kicks out an error message. You're gonna draw 144, almost 145 amperes of current through that wire. And in the process, you're going to lose over a half of a volt. A half volt drop will be audible. You will be choking your amplifier so that it can't live up to its full potential. So in this scenario right here, you're going to have to jump up to the zero gauge wire and hit calculate. And there we go. We have the same current draw, of course, but now the voltage drop across that run of zero gauge wire is below the 0.5 threshold. So in this case, you're going to want the thicker wire.